Hi everyone, Ryan from Foxtech here. Today, I'm going to show you how to delete your saved passwords from Safari on your iPhone. If you've ever saved a password while logging into a website, you might have wondered how to manage or delete those passwords later. Well, it's a straightforward process, and I'm going to walk you through it step by step. When you log into a website using Safari on your iPhone, you've probably noticed that a pop-up appears asking if you'd like to save the password for that site. You can either choose to save the password or select not for this website. If you choose to save it, the password is stored on your iPhone for future use, making it easier to log in next time without having to remember your credentials. Now, you might assume that these saved passwords are stored somewhere within the Safari app or under the Safari settings, but that's not actually the case. Whether the passwords were saved from Safari, Chrome, or any other browser, they are all managed in a centralized place on your iPhone. To access your saved passwords, you'll need to go into the Settings app. Scroll down until you find the Passwords section. Tap on it, and your iPhone will prompt you to authenticate using Face ID or your passcode. Once you've authenticated, you'll have access to all the passwords you've saved on your device, not just from Safari, but from all apps and browsers. If you want to delete a password, it's quite simple. In the Passwords section, find the entry you want to remove. Then, swipe left on the password you wish to delete. A red Delete button will appear. Tap on it, and your iPhone will ask you to confirm the deletion. It's important to note that once you delete a password, it's not immediately gone forever. Instead, it's moved to the Recently Deleted Passwords section. This gives you a little bit of time to recover it if you deleted it by mistake, but if you're sure you no longer need it, it's essentially removed from your saved passwords. And that's how you manage and delete your saved passwords from Safari on your iPhone. I hope this guide has been helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more helpful tech tips. Thanks for watching and see you guys later.